There are like 20 millions of radioactive and nuclear materials movement around the world and some of them are in the forms of a mobile um, sources that are very vulnerable. Uh, there are points where uh, this event, this situation could lead to possibility of going outside of regulatory controls. This is the point of concern. Dirty bomb is um, a conventional bomb that where they attach radioactive materials in it. So in a normal convention bomb, things could be exploded and then there will be only an impact from the explosions. But when you introduce radioactive materials in an explosion, there is a possibility of contaminations on top of the explosion's effects itself. And I don't think we should be complacent just because it has never happened. I think we should give more reason for us to be alert and to prepare ourselves. It is mainly to test how communication, how important information it is, whether the existing standard operating procedures are sufficient to help them to conduct this nuclear security. And at the end, it will reflect the um, existing nuclear security detection architecture in both countries so that both countries can use the results to enhance their existing capabilities. The tabletop is more to test how much information uh, are being able to be shared, to test how much they know the procedures that are available in their countries. And it is very interesting to see the results of the discussion from both countries, particularly when it comes to the joint objective where we want to see how much cooperation between the two countries are existing and how, uh, whether it is sufficient or not. Because as a result from the discussion, we see both countries, even though the discussion has been conducted Individually, they come to one answers that match how much the corporations helps them to address these kind of situations. The important elements that many, many people forget is the information. Well, in the IA publications, also we promote about having nuclear security detections by instruments and also by information. This is the important tools because most of the states already have these capabilities and what we want to be informing them is that they should realize that how important this information can be used as a tool to detect for material going outside of regulatory controls. So the scenario was a truck carrying uh, fertilizers coming from uh, Penang International Seaport going to Thailand and, and in the containers the declaration says it's actually really a fertilizers. However, there's an injection of information from intelligence says that there are like nuclear materials, uranium-235 was hidden in the trucks. They jointly conduct the physical inspections just to make sure to maintain the uh, transparency between the two countries by following their uh, respective standard operating procedures. I'm so happy with the achievements from the exercises. I'm happy with the commitments that they have given from both Thai and Malaysia governments, uh, the players and the participants. We have received a great support from both governments uh, in order to prepare for the exercises. And when you see such results from the tabletop exercise and the field uh, exercises that has been conducted this week, it is really um, satisfying experience for us in the nuclear security divisions.